to have some fun. We present to you a collection of cool and wonderful tricks that will turn you into the star of every party. A dinner party? Distract your friends from their dinner plates with this unusual fork balancing trick. Let's see how it's done. Take two forks and join their ends at an angle, like this. Put a toothpick in between the teeth of the forks. Place the toothpick on the edge of a glass and try to find some balance. The forks seem to float in mid-air. But that's not all. Light the toothpick on fire. The forks are hanging on the end of the burnt out toothpick. We can even give them a little push. The wow effect is guaranteed. So you've been invited to a tea party. Don't pour boiling water on the tea bags just yet. We know a fun way to impress your friends. Take some tea bags. Carefully open them and empty out the contents. We'll make the tea later in a cup. And for now, let's see the trick. Straighten out the bags. Put them vertically on the table and light them on fire. Look! The bags are flying away like little balls of fire. Very beautiful! But beware of any flammable objects nearby. It would be better to do this trick outdoors. You can do this next trick when you are bored. Take 16 small cubes. We need to attach the cubes together from both sides with tape like this, leaving spaces in a checkered pattern. Now we get this cube formation. Now, by turning the outer cubes, we can see how the pattern changes. We printed out a picture and put it on the cubes. One move and the picture comes apart. And we can just as easily put it back together. For the next trick, we'll need some water, a candle, a few matches, and an empty glass. We've added some food coloring to enhance the effect. Pour the water on a plate. Stick the matches in the candle, then place it in the center of the plate. Light the matches on fire and cover with an empty glass. The water gets sucked up inside the glass and the candle rises. Cool! This happens because the air inside the glass heats up and expands. And when the flame goes out, the air cools down and shrinks, creating a vacuum that sucks in the water. Simple physics! Let's carry on with our tricks with glasses. We'll fill up the glass with some water that we've previously colored. Cover it with a piece of paper. Turn it upside down and remove our hand. Because of the difference in pressure, the piece of paper is pushed against the glass and blocks the water from spilling out. In our next trick, we'll show you how to make a small ball levitate. Make a hole in the bottom of a plastic cup. Push a straw through the hole, then bend it at a right angle. Put a small plastic ball inside the cup and blow through the straw. Awesome! The ball is levitating! The harder you blow, the higher the ball goes. Got any paper napkins nearby? This is what you can do with them. Cut off a small piece of napkin. Draw some colored stripes on it with markers. Take a glass with a bit of water in it and hang the napkin on top of it so that its ends are slightly touching the water. Now we watch how the colors mix together in a funny rainbow pattern as the napkin soaks up the water. Very pretty! For the next two tricks, we'll need some plastic straws. Get ready to impress your friends. Make a fist and start pulling on the end of the straw. Pull, pull. The straw seems to be coming out of nowhere. Let's reveal the secret. Take a straw and cut it along the edge, but not all the way through. Roll it up starting from the open edge. Put the roll in your fist, leaving the intact part outside. Now carefully start pulling out the straw. As it's unrolling, it looks like the straw is coming out of your fist totally intact. Now take a straw and slowly push it through your hand. Keep calm, here's the secret. For this trick, we need to cut a straw in three parts. Cut one of the parts lengthwise. Place the second part inside the fist. Now one straw can freely move inside the other. Carefully stick the third part to the back of your hand with double-sided tape. Now it looks as if the composite part is piercing your hand and coming out the other side. Just don't show that piece to your friends. Some sleight of hand to get an amazing effect. Here's another trick to impress your friends with. Take an ordinary playing card, place it vertically, and then place a glass on it. How is it possible? There's a little secret. 
We'll actually need two cards for this one. Fold one of the cards in half and stick it to the side of the other one with double-sided tape. Now we can make them look like a single card or push back a part of the card to make a support. Naturally, we'll try to keep this a secret as we show this trick to our friends. Now we must ask the sensitive members of the audience to look away. Take an ordinary playing card and with a quick move, stick it into your hand. Don't panic, no one was hurting during this trick. Take a few cards. Cut out a semicircle roughly the size of a hand in one of them. Glue one edge to a second card. Then glue the cut off piece in its original place to the other card. Now we can gently fold back the part with the cut off on it. A bit of practice and you are off to amaze everyone around. Have you heard of static electricity? Let's see it in action. Inflate a balloon. Give it a good rub with a cloth. Get the balloon near a small water stream. Look how the stream bends. And just like that, the water is flowing at an angle. We can also see the effects of static electricity in another trick. Take half of a match. Attach a string to it and tape it to the bottom of a glass. Turn the glass upside down. Rub a plastic tube with a woolen cloth and bring it near the glass. The match starts to dance and follow the tube. Now take a metal can and again rub the tube. Look, the can is rolling towards the tube. A cool trick for entertaining your friends. And finally, we're going to bend a spoon using the power of our mind. Take a spoon and start actively imagining how it's bending. Voila, we've made it. Did you fall for it? Okay, okay, let's reveal the secret. Of course we've bent the spoon beforehand. What we need to do is to position our hands in just the right way, like so, and gently lift up the end of the spoon. Practice for a bit, you can definitely do it, although it wouldn't hurt to try and train your willpower as well. Have you seen the Wonder Wallet? Let's show you how to make one. We are going to need some pieces of cardboard. They must be a bit bigger than a standard banknote. Take four pieces of satin ribbon. Place two of them, one across the other, on a piece of cardboard. Position the other two parallel to the edges of the second piece of cardboard. Glue the ribbons to the back side of the boards like this. Now the two cardboards are connected together by the ribbons. Decorate the wallet with some craft paper. Pay attention now. Place the banknote inside the wallet and open it from the other side. The note turns up under the crossed ribbons. Open it from the opposite side and the note ends up in a different position. Let's try this again. It worked! We've made a real wonder wallet. We have yet another way to impress your friends. Take an elastic band and pull it through a ring. Stretch the band and look! The ring starts to go up. How is it possible? Let's show you the secret. We've stretched the band and attached the longer end in our hand. Now we need to seamlessly let the band slip from our fingers. Like this. The band shrinks and pulls the ring along with it. Our next trick will be pouring water from glass to glass, but not just anyway. The water will be flowing at an angle. Soak a piece of rope in water. Press on both ends of the rope to dry them up a bit, then tape them to each glass. Fill one of the glasses with water, then lift it up. Then tilt it at an angle and start pouring. The water easily flows down the wet rope without even spilling. For our next trick, draw some flowers on colored paper. Try to make the core into a perfect circle as best as you can. Cut out the petals and gently fold them in. Fill a big plate with water and place the flowers on top. The flowers start to blossom right in front of our eyes. This happens because the paper starts to straighten out as it gets wet. Simple, but beautiful. And just like that, using some common items, we can have a lot of fun with our friends.
Subscribe to Troom Troom Select, hit the like button if you liked this video, and click on the bell. It will ring and notify you of our latest releases.